And Dreyfus is going to give up here. He checks. So this is Chabal's first inkling that he's he's got this. Yeah, at this point, he probably thinks that he's good. He's going to check now. Just in case he's not good, he can catch an eight to make a straight. Well, that's a nice safe card. It's not a heart. Doesn't complete the flush. Alex Betts, all in. Dreyfus moves all in, really puts the pressure back on Shabal. It's a tough spot if you're in Shabal. Trying to think, okay, did my opponent make two pair, maybe aces up? Or did he miss the flush draw? Or does he just have nothing at all, which is exactly what he has? Shabal might be an expert on the rugby field, but poker is definitely not his forte. Well, we shall see. That's not a small pot either. The all-in was for 9,400 chips. It's an absolute monster pot. Okay, I call. He calls! It's a great call by Shabal. Alex shows King Jack. Oh, you can't mess with the caveman. Wow, very good call. I like the call. Well, worthy applause from around the table. He certainly kept this spectator on the edge of his seat there. I wasn't sure which way he was going to go right up until he called. That was a great call. Well, that is Dreyfus leaving the tournament. Fair play to him. And a gracious handshake from the man of the caves. Obviously knows his poker. Or oh, seems to, anyway. Sebastian Cheval, this is your poker test. Yeah. You are prepared? I think so. <laughs> okay, all right. First question, what is Big Slick? Big slick. Big slick. Ace king suited. Nice. Suited yeah. or yeah. Suited or unsuited is fine. Who won the 2008 World Series of Poker? Thank you. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave yet. <laughs> East Gate. No, Peter East Gate. It is. <laughs> Question number three. One, one. <laughs> that one will go to me then. Question number three. Ah. What is the cutoff? It's uh, before the before the dealer. Yes, nice Last one. Thing. Boom. What is better, quads or a full house? Quads. Very of good. Course. Yeah. See, no trick question. This one was quite easy. Yeah. Question number five. What does the nuts mean in poker? The nuts. The nuts. It's uh, the best end you can have with uh, your hands and the flop. Yep. Absolutely. So, what is Chris Moneymaker's real last name? Kind of a trick question. No idea. Okay. It's ah. Moneymaker. <laughs> Sorry. Don't hurt me. <laughs> it's a trick question, but it's not mine. It was a good one. Okay, Thank you. Okay. Good. Question number seven. The big blind is six hundred. Yeah. What is the small blind? Half of that, so yeah. 300. 300. Great. Uh, question number eight, where is the World Series of Poker played? Las Vegas. Yeah, very good. Question number nine, what is the worst starting hand in poker? Seven dues. Yes. Uh, last question, what is better, trips or a straight? Roland, do you speak French? <laughs> Un petit peu. It's uh, three, three same cards, yeah. trips, oui. so it's a straight. So a straight? Yeah. Good work. Seriously, Thank you very you've done much. really much better than I thought. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for your help as well. You're very welcome. <laughs> My hand just disappeared. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So six players left on this table. Six. Sorry. Sebastian makes the call. Yeah, Shabal decides just to call with King Queen. Now there's only six players at this table. Back Probably a raising spot. Madden and Shabal are the only non-professionals around this table. Is that likely to put pressure on them, do you think? Oh, they're definitely out of their element, but at the same time, they might be feeling less pressure because they have nothing to lose. Oh, there's the flop. It's a big flop, by the way. I mean, Shabal with top pair, Madden with bottom two pair. We could see fireworks. Joel bets 4,000. Mad not slow playing the hand. He bets 4,000 right into that pot. And I don't see Shabal folding this one. We've seen what he's made of, certainly. 12. 
Sebastian's gonna raise the 12,000. All in. Joel Ow. announces re-raise, all in. Okay. It's a big one. And men's all in for 48,600. Now, Shabal did not raise pre-flop, allowed men to see the flop for free. And uh, it's Shabal's worst nightmare right now, yeah. as Madden is way ahead. Yeah. I think worth pointing out at this stage that John Madden is no stranger to high-pressure situations. He is, of course, the partner of Nicole Ritchie. He and, uh, he and Nicole have a child, a daughter, Harlow. Did you know that? I did know that. It's, it's really a sweet story. Yeah. Well, action over to Shabal. He's got a tough decision to make here. He's got a good hand. It's not a great hand. But do you really want to go broke with just one pair? Of course, his pot is is pretty substantial at this stage. It's an enormous pot, already 65,000 chips. I'm going to fold the best hand, I think. I think I know what they both have. Sure, the card's not. King queen oh, and Jack good three. fold from Shabbat. King Queen, King Queen, King Queen, yeah, King Queen right. Jack King three. three. What did you, what did you have? King Queen. King Queen. Sebastian says he folded. Jack King three. Queen. This is so easy. I said this it. game. I said, I said Jack three. Long and time I said ago. Queen, King. Okay, I got King ten. Joel shows Jack three. Wow. We did pretty good there. Yeah, quite impressive. There's a reason why these two are professionals. <laughs> kind of makes you think twice before you sit down with the likes of Tony G and Daniel Negrano, huh? <laughs> Sebastian Chabal has shown impressive sensitivity to the table in these last two hands. I mean, he's over six foot three inches tall, weighs 19 stones, but it's, it's really amazing how impressive he's been. He made a great call at the pocket tens and then a phenomenal lay down with King Queen. Mm -hmm. They talk about a good Gallic nose. He's got a, he's got a nose for the table. How much I think. is that? Around 10. My chance to bust a world champion? Yes. It's so fun. And if Joe calls, I can bust two world champions? That'll be two feathers in my cap. How much has he got exactly? And Negrano getting a countdown, wants to know how much it's going to cost if he calls. Eastgate all in with a pretty questionable hand there, ace three off suit, but he is getting short stacked. <laughs> Doesn't want to get dwindled down to nothing. There's <laughs> inflation. 12-3. Let's gamble with 12,300. Daniel says let's gamble, makes the call. And Negrano calls. Two kings I got. Obviously excited. <laughs> hoping at a chance to knock out the 2008 World Series of Poker Champion, Peter Eastgate. Oh, you got ace clubs, three of spades. All right, Peter's the at risk player. Daniel has him covered. Daniel's in the lead with seven. Seven of hearts. Seven Do I get like a bracelet or anything if I win this pot? You got the ace. You got this pat. I get the pat? Become a Nordic. Now, interestingly enough, Eastgate's got the one championship that Negrano doesn't have. It's just a World flop. Series of Poker main event. It's kind of bad for you. You don't want two big cards to come out. Eliminates the flush draw. No, not much there for Eastgate yet. He needs an ace. So I don't want to clean now, Queen of Diamonds. Thanks. Queen will now give it to, uh, give it to Peter as well. Eastgate needs an ace or an queen. Ace Let's see the river card. Full house. Oh. Knocked him over the full house. Well, he's seen him off. And he's one badge to the good. Better luck next year, sir. I know you're running bad, right? You should have said one time in my life. Like this guy. Well, it's another scout for Negrano as he knocks out the 2008 world champion. And Peter Eastgate hits the exits. But he has about 10 million reasons to still be happy. Hard luck, Peter. But it's all for a good cause. Oh, yeah. We're here to support NTL for Africa. Uh, you know, Daniel's been playing since it started. Uh, it's my first time here and, and first time that they brought it to Europe. So it's exciting. I mean, no better place to play poker than Monte Carlo. And once you're over there and you're, you know, you, you go to a couple of refugee camps and you meet some kids, you fall in love, and then it's like, it's like a curse, man. You never stop thinking about it. And um, so when you see people doing events like this, it, it, it means a lot to me anyways, you know what I mean? You know, I think we're so privileged, I'm, and I'm particularly privileged to be in the position that I'm in, that whenever I see an opportunity where I can give back, it's, uh, it's an easy, it's, it's a no-brainer. So there are 16 players remaining, two tables of eight. As you can see, we are eight-handed again on the TV table, filling up.